When you open the Sim Sutra module, you will find all the materials necessary to learn suturing skills. Let's take a look at the contents. This is the Suture Practice Board. It has been designed to resemble skin sufficiently to allow a realistic suturing experience. The outer layer is loosely adhered to the foam by a layer of areolar material that simulates subcutaneous tissue. Imprinted lines are available to guide your practice. Some of the lines have dots to direct the placement of simple sutures, and some of the lines have crosshatches that facilitate the practice of subcuticular suturing. The real challenge comes with the closure of the lines without markers. This is a Hager needle holder. This is a pair of Adsum forceps. This is a pair of straight suture scissors for cutting sutures. These are scalpels for cutting the simulated skin. The larger blade is called a number 10 blade and the smaller blade is called a number 15 blade. You will find three bags of sutures containing 10 sutures each. One is a 3.0 nylon with a 30 millimeter curved reverse cutting needle. This is larger than the standard skin closure needle that, by its size, will introduce you to the principles of suturing. Another bag contains a 3.0 nylon with a 24 millimeter curved reverse cutting needle, which is a needle commonly used to close lacerations and incisions. The final bag contains a 4.0 nylon with a 19 millimeter reverse cutting needle, which will be used for practicing subcuticular closure. This is the guidebook, which provides practice exercises that will assist you in a program of deliberate practice. One last cautionary comment. The scalpels and needles in this module can be dangerous if the sharp edges are left exposed. Always place the cap back on the scalpel carefully after its use. Needles can be carefully disposed of by deeply embedding them in an unused space of the suture board and cutting off any residual suture material. This completes our introduction to the SIM Suture Module. Other segments will describe the instruments and proper handling methods. Additional segments will demonstrate simple suturing, knot tying, running sutures, as well as vertical mattress and subcuticular techniques.